stacking plan within Ascendix is a great way to visualize both tenants and vacant space within a particular property. In this example, we're looking at a stacking plan of a building called Preston Park Financial Center within a specific time frame and date. That being said, you could always change the date forward or back to see that the stacking plan would change depending on the tenants in that time frame or the vacancies slash availabilities in that time frame. There are some key things to look out for when creating a property record to ensure that a stacking plan can render. We'll go ahead and create a new property record, an office one, and we'll name it 123 Main Street. Now the property record has approximately 230 fields, quite a bit. If really um, the stacking plan is the key feature that you want, you'll have to go to a section within the form that is right here under floors, whereby you'll wanna dictate how tall that building is, i.e. how many stories or floors, so if we say 10, and you'll have to populate the average floor size of that building. So if you don't know, you could definitely um, give an approximate amount. So if we say 15,000 and it's a 10 story building and save it, then that will be enough to create the skeletal structure of the stacking plan. So here within, we're within a property record, here are all the fields, we click on stacking plan, we'll be able to see there is a stack. If you forget to do that step, you this will be completely blank. You won't have a stacking plan. You'll have to manually add the floor. So just keep that in mind that the earlier you catch that when creating a property record, populating those two fields, the better. Now at this point, you'll need to populate the stacking plan with um, leases, i.e. tenants in the building or vacant spaces. And so we see that there's a leases tab here. I could add a new lease for a tenant. Let's say the suite is 200. And the property is 123 Main Street. And here there are also some key fields to populate to make sure that this tenant renders well on the stacking plan. And first one is um, obviously other than the required field and the property is what square footage does that tenant occupy? And so I'm just going to say 5,000. And the second key here is what floor they're on. Again, if you can't um, dictate the size or the floor, it won't be able to render properly. And so the way that the floors work is you can actually just type in the word floor two and pick the one that matches, which is one, two, three, Main Street, floor two. And of course, if you want to type in the tenant name, which would be linking to an account, I will just pick an arbitrary one here. And this isn't the tenant is not required to render on the stacking plan. Mainly it's these two fields, but if you want more information on the stacking plan, it definitely helps to populate a tenant. Commencement and expiration. The expiration um, will have a color key legend. So depending on the expiration date or year that you pick, that's how the colors are rendered within Ascendix. And so that's all I'll put for now, just the dates, the tenant, the floor they occupy, the amount they occupy on that floor, and obviously the building that they're in and save. Now I am brought back to the, I'm brought to the lease record here, but I could always toggle over or flip through to the property and go to stacking plan. And we should be able to see on the second floor that tenant IA management we've just added and they're purple because of the lease expiration legend that's on the bottom. And so you can really continue to do this for the tenants in that building. Again, keeping in mind that this is as of today's date. So if there's an expiration date outside of this realm, it will not reflect immediately, you'll need to change the stacking plan date to be able to see the tenants um, in that building within that time frame. The same, comp uh, the same concept applies for an availability, which is really another way of saying vacant space. And so we can create an availability record. And actually you can really do them from within um, these uh, icons right here. So you would click on new availability and then continue to populate the availability record, which is a vacant space. And so we could say 500 and a floor five and the available space we'll say is um, 2000 and maybe we could put in a unit number. You could populate, I wrote, put in a unit number there. You could specify what kind it is, et cetera, and save that. And again, it takes us straight to the availability record when it loads, and we'll be able to drill to the property and the second plan to take a look at that fifth floor vacancy, which is right here in yellow. So all vacancies are yellow and all leases are color coded based on the legend. 
So hopefully this helps give you a visual depiction of how a stacking plan is rendered within Ascendix. There are some other features you could do within this, which is export to Excel, export to PDF. From here, you could add a new lease or tenant or a vacancy. You could obviously zoom in or out or pop it out. And the settings icon here allows you to dictate these little blocks here, what data that you're seeing. So if you wanted to see commencement versus expiration or some other information like the lease rate directly on this um, visual, you certainly can.